Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out some new lip products. I've got this little guy here from Sephora. This is the Sephora Favorites. Give me some lip little package here. I don't know why, but I thought this was bigger. I think it's just in pictures it looks bigger. But I'm gonna try out what's inside of here as well as a few other lip products that I grabbed for this video. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into this. I'm gonna start off with what is inside of here. I think this is a great value. It's $28. US and it's got like an $80 value. I'm going to show you what comes inside of it. It has two full size products here. So we have one of the new Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon in the shade Night Mauve. So this is supposed to be like a crayon that works like a liquid lipstick. And then an actual liquid lipstick from Smashbox. This is their metallic formula and in the shade Exo Vlada. Maybe it's Exo Vlada. I don't know. <laughs> and then you get three deluxe size samples. And this is the Trestique, and it's a plumping lip balm, a deluxe of the Snobby Huda Beauty Lip Strobe, and then a deluxe of a little Fenty. This is so cute, you guys. And this is in the shade Candy Venom. Like, this is adorable. Normally, I don't really like little tiny lipsticks, but this is really cute. <laughs> So that's what you get in that little kit. I think for $28, that's amazing. You can definitely try out some new things if you like it. And the fact that they had the, the Fenty Beauty in there, I'm like, yes, that is so good. But I'm gonna start off with what's on my lips right now. This is new from Buxom. I used one of these in my Dior. It's funny, I'm wearing the Dior foundation right now. But I tried it in my Dior review and I bought another one. This is in the shade honey do and this is the va va plump shiny liquid lipstick it is so nice i will tell you if you do not like that like menthol plumpy feel i don't feel like it plumps my lips at all like completely honestly but it does have that sensation there so it's like minty menthol i think buxom is known for that but basically this is a liquid lipstick but it's shiny and you can reapply without having any of those crusties or anything else there. I wore the other color. I don't have it with me or else I would show you. I wore the other color all day long and it was so comfortable. But if you don't like that minty sensation, you will not like this. This wears incredibly well. Yes, it does transfer though. I'm gonna try and put on things in the order of like how I think they'll stain my lips so that I don't alter any shades. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with is this lip strobe. So this is the Deluxe Size Sample, and again, this is in the shade Snobby. And I'm just gonna put this on by itself. This looks like a MAC Beaming Blush in a lip gloss. More pink, though. That's what she looks like. Again, it's a pink with a gold shift to it. Really pretty. A full size one of these is $18. I'm going to put this one on as well because I felt like I should. <laughs> and this is in the shade Angelic. So you can see like the size difference here between the two. My lips are going to look crazy. We're just going to get past that. <laughs> I actually do not love wearing these by themselves. I like to put them on top of liquid lipsticks or like the Anastasia uh, matte lipsticks. Not the liquid, just the regular. And I think they're really pretty on top. I think this one looks like a MAC Nymphette, but like on crack. Way more, like it has more color to it and more of a shift. I prefer this one and I really like this formula as well. Feels nice on the lips. It's not too sticky, but not like you feel like it's just going to go away either. Next up, I'm going to try on the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick. This is one of the ones that's in the kit. I've actually never worn one of theirs. I don't know why. I just haven't. Trying to let this dry down just a little bit. It does feel very airy on the lips right now. Not thick at all. I really like that applicator. It's got like that little tip on it so it's easy to apply. So yeah, definitely a lightweight feel on the lips. This one is a $24 lipstick. So if you think about it, like the little kit is 28. You're paying $4 for everything else. I do not usually go for a metallic liquid lip, or really metallic lips in general, but I'm glad that if they were going to include one, it was a like natural shade instead of, you know, like hot pink or something like that. So I appreciate that. Yeah, this is dried down. It feels nice on the lips. It feels just really light. Ooh, she hard to get off though. 
Next up, I've got one from Pat McGrath, so this is not in the kit, but this is the Lust Angeles, that's the color, and it's the Lust Trance lipstick. So I have tried the matte ones before, but these I have not, so I was very curious about it. So these have more of like that shiny kind of formula, but it's supposed to be super pigmented. This feels really good. Definitely one stroke, you've got full pigment. Unique, this feels very creamy, very comfortable on the lips. A lot of pigmentation there, which you you can't expect anything less from Pat McGrath. Packaging for the win, beautiful. Again, $38. Yeah, this feels <laughs> really good. Now I'm gonna try on the new one from Marc Jacobs. This is in the kit, it's $26 full size, and it's in the shade Night Moth. I just wanted to look up on Sephora and see what it said about it. it says it's a creamy 16 hour long wear lip crayon that has the look, feel, and wear of a lip good lipstick in a range of bold, covetable shades. So let's try this one on. Ooh, ooh, this, this legit feels. Like I have a doe foot applicator and putting it on. That is so strange. It has a weird smell to it. I don't like the smell. Definitely a lot of color payoff here. I will note that this shade looks nothing like this like purpley shade that's on the outside of it. So that's a little misleading. I like this color. I think a lot of people will like this color, but I won't get a lot of use out of this. This isn't something that I grab for personally. Right now it has a slip to it. It felt like a liquid lipstick going on, but now it has slip. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and see if anything happens to it. So it's been about five minutes. It's definitely way more matte than it was feeling on the lips, but it's not all the way dried down like a liquid lipstick would, but it's definitely matte. I'm gonna see. So not a lot, but there is a little bit of transfer there. I do like the way this feels on my lips though. I'm just not a super fan of the color. The outside room of my mouth is just like, nope, I'm done with this. I, yeah, my makeup is starting to look a little funky around there, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to try out this one. This is the Trestique. I think I'm saying that correctly. This is in the kit, and it is called the Mini Plumping Lip Balm. Now, I couldn't find the full size of this on Sephora, so I don't know what a full size would cost you. But this is in Barbados Berry, and it looks like this. Nice smell to it. Smells really good. A lot of color. <laughs> kind of hard to get on your lips, especially because it has so much color to it. I feel like I'm going to mess it up. Mm -mm. <laughs> I wish this was just a bomb. Like it didn't have any color to it because it feels good on the lips. I don't like this color. It is harder to put on. I don't know if maybe the full size has a pointed tip like this. I saw some of their other items had a tip, but this is hard to put on. And with that much color, I feel like it needs to be more precise personally. I don't know if my lips are just raw, but I don't feel like I'm feeling any kind of plumping situation here. And it definitely says mini plumping lip balm. I don't know. I'm not feeling anything at all. The last two are both from Fenty Beauty. This one is in the kit. So this is the small one in Candy Venom. And then this one, this is the one that I bought. It's the only one I bought other than this little kit. And this is in Freckle Fiesta. And these are the Mademoiselle lipsticks from Fenty Beauty. So this is the full size. This is $18. Let me make sure. Yep, $18. So this one is Freckle Fiesta. I'm going to put that one on last. But I do want you guys to see like the size difference here. All right, let's put on Candy Venom. It's got the little FB on top and everything. Look, look at that. that yeah, mm-hmm. This is beautiful. A ton of pigment in here. One swipe and it is this color and I got on my teeth. Yuck. <laughs> but this is a nice matte formula too. Feels really good. It's not very creamy. It's I would say it's more matte than the MAC liquid lip <laughs> more matte than the matte lipsticks, less matte than their retro mattes but still not as matte as the ABH either. Maybe. Kind of in between the ABH and the MAC, I would feel like, in terms of texture. Very, very nice, but 
I've got to say one thing and one thing only, $18. I love the pigmentation. She nailed it with the colors. However, I do feel like the packaging is a little bit cheap feeling and please don't read me to filth. I just, it's beautiful to look at, but I wish it had a little bit more weightedness to it. If it just was a little bit more weighty in my hand, I don't think it would feel as cheap, but I'm being picky. Let's go ahead and put on this one. God, this color is beautiful though. I do think some people might have an issue with the shape of the bullet, but I don't with my lip shape, but I can see some people having an issue because it's rounded instead of like that tip, but I don't mind it. Now this one actually feels a little bit creamier than um, Candy Venom, whatever it was. Yeah, this one doesn't feel as dry as the other one. Still the same amount of pigmentation, but the formula feels a little different. This color is absolute perfection for me. Obsessed with it. I am going to get a lot of use out of this color. I feel like it's in between chili and it's not like Lady Danger. Lady Danger is much more orangey red, but this one has more of that brightness than chili does. So I'm going to say it's like those two mixed. Beautiful. But I do feel that this is more like a slightly more velvety version of the MAC matte lipstick, but it's not as dry as that last shade I used. So I'm curious to know if that's just because this is a mini or if it's something to do with the shade. So if you know, let me know down below. But I do like this color and this formula. I would say my favorites out of the bunch, I love the Pat McGrath formula. I love this color and I really do like the formula as well of the Fenty Beauty. I really enjoy this because most of the time I actually do prefer a glossier lip. So this is the Buxom Vava Plump Liquid Shiny Lipstick. Yeah, I would say that those are my favorite. I do think that the kit is worth it if you will use those shades. I don't like this. I will never use that again. I like this formula of the Marc Jacobs, but I don't like the color so much. Let me know down below if you're picking up this kit, if you're trying any of the Fenty Beauty, Pat McGrath, any new lipsticks, and let me know what you think of this video down below. I will see you guys. Ooh, let me, sh I gotta show you something real quick. This this little girl back here, we got we got to introduce her. This is Charlie. This is our little girl. We wanted to get, well, we, I totally talked Puffin into this. This wasn't a we, this was a me. <laughs> I wanted to get a little friend for Diesel, our soft coated wheat and terrier. And this is Charlie. This is what we got. And we love her, don't we? We love you. She's like, let me down. I want to go play. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.